Okay, now we're at the Russian map. We will win this for Mother Russia! And I had to say it. <laughs> I'm on the terrorist side. We're playing a Russian map. We're winning this for Russia, uh, Mother Russia, and we're eating pizza. I got an AK-47, comrades. I'm terrible with Russian accents. I can't tell which guy is my guy or which guy is the enemy. Ah! Yeah! Wow. Well, you're doing something. Stay away from all my vodka. Ah, they're shooting me, comrades. Help! We cut all the Russians. In Soviet Russia. Pokemon catch you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. You got dual pistols. Oh, nice. I'm gonna go Django Fett on these guys. Hmm. Y'all know what I'd like to see? You know how they. You know that show, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter? I've heard of it. Well, they made a parody of that on Mad called a Frog, the Bounty Hunter. Yeah, I saw that. What if they did the same thing with Star Wars like a, a Boba, the Bounty Hunter, or Django, the Bounty Hunter? Yeah. That would probably get some heads turning. Where are you guys going? Wait. Uh oh, they ain't balling you. It's like in Benny Hill where they're all where they're just all over the place. Where do I go to get up there? I'm missing all the action! Oh. Ah, there's my action! <laughs> I just had to say it. You fought bravely. Come on, where's the action? Ah action! Here comes the boom. Om nom nom. What'd you think of that movie, Here Comes the Boom? Uh... Or did you not see it? Never saw it. Go ahead. You'll come to realize I haven't seen a lot of movies. Oh, I thought this dude was like... <laughs> what is that? He's dead. I thought he was like, uh... Like on his stomach or something shooting. Can you do that? No. I just thought it was like a glitch or something. Oh, this is good. Hey guys, it's Pat. Sergeant Pat Casper. I just pulled a mass effect. Hmm. I dropped meat on my, my chemical romance. You're waiting, Shane. Alright. I'll go for this. Actually, let's... Nope. Yeah. Crap. Never mind. 
I'll just go with this weapon. What's this? Oh, it's a sniper. That's cool. Oh, come on. I just started. Oh, I hate that so much. That's ba that's basically what happens in Call of Duty. Ah, all right, I'm ready to kill some guys. Ah, there you are, do 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 do, and then you you like waste the entire round on somebody, but they still didn't die, and all of a sudden, boop, you die. It was me all the time, especially on the really small maps. Got to play on a medium map. It's not too big, not too small. But the small ones, they'll spawn kill you instantly, and the big ones just make me too nervous. Like the um, uh, one map from Modern Warfare 2? Rust. Yeah. You know, ironically, the smallest maps in Call of Duty are always the more popular ones. Which is understandable. I liked Rust. I liked Dome. I liked Nuketown. For some reason, nobody goes on Rust anymore. Uh, I haven't. I haven't played Modern Warfare 2 in a really long time. Frankly, I'm done with uh, Call of Duty multiplayer. Like, I'll play with the bots on yeah. the local, but online play is just too hard. I can't get it. Yeah, I know how you feel there, man. No, I absolutely love, under every circumstance ever available, I love the zombies modes. Yeah. Those are actually the really popular modes. I'm wondering what the zombies are like in uh, the new Black Ops game, Black Ops 2. They're crazy. I they're, know that. They are... I know that in one mode you can play as the zombie. Yeah, actually, I I got the DLC for that yesterday. It's it's actually really fun. And also quite hectic. If you want to be competitive on uh, in zombies, that's the way to do it. You know the uh, story on the zombies? No. Yeah, actually, not very many people know this, but uh, the Call of Duty Zombies mode actually has its very own story. And I'm not, I'm not going to say anything about it because, I mean, spoilers and all that crap, but it's an amazing story. You should look into it when you get the chance. Like all the really cool random easter eggs on the zombie maps usually contribute towards the story in one way or another. Alright. Your turn. I'm winning this for Mother Russia. Let's do this. M4 all the way. Ringo. I, I think I've heard that name before. It's a character from uh, an anime series. Casher and Sins. Did you ever see that show? No. There's actually a lot of animes that I that people have told me to watch that I've been meaning to, but just haven't gotten gotten to yet. Is Bleach one of them? Yes, it is. I knew it. It's one of the most popular animes out there, but my anime club... Most of the members in my anime club, they're not really Bleach fans. I'm like, are you kidding? Bleach is one of the biggest animes out there. How can you not be a fan of it? Ooh, I think it was a headshot. Yeah, it was. You, you see the little... Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. Oh. Oh, now you got a headshot on you. <laughs> Blindsided. And, uh... Mm. Cash and Sins, that was a good anime. I was kind of upset when uh, they stopped showing it on Toonami. 
Most of the shows they have on Toonami are like 